up my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time that you are laying your eyes on this beautiful girl thank you so much for stopping by marathon subscriber from me to you i love you thank you thank you so much thank you for your support thank you for subscribing god will bless you god must bless you eh? for blessing me god will bless you so today's video i'm I think it was like last week that uh, this um, senator, Senator Oba, passed away. And uh, people, it was a shock. He passed away, I think, days, few days after Mr. Iwanyan uh, passed away. At least his own, he got up to 80-something. But uh, Oba's own, I think they say it's about 50-something. So, my people, he passed away. He said, he said, politician nigerian politician he is part of the nigerian politicians that uh, uh that have made nigeria the way it is today but uh, they said when somebody passed away hmm, that we're not supposed to speak ill about them i'm not here to speak ill about him but i am here to just make us say uh, think let us say think i'm just here um <laughs> because I'm older than him, I, I can I can call him a little boy. Some of these boys that uh, found money somehow, however they found money, they they, they they won't let anybody there. Some of these people that you do know who I am, some people that uh, intimidate people with money. But this is passing away. Hmm? A lot, I watched a lot of video about his passing away. And then when you go to comment section, oh, oh, Jesus, it's so sad what people are saying about him. The Bible said, hey, it's better, it's better to have a good name than to have all the riches. Then the day that you are not here, they talk, talk, people will continue to talk. That's what is happening to him right now. People are not talking good about him. Videos are all over. The people that he he took their money, the people that in court with him right now as we speak, um, because of the businesses, the money that he was supposed to, they are not saying nothing good about this guy. So then with all the money, let me, I am here to let you know, to bust your bubble, to let you know that when God said, this is the time, it, it is the time. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. Somebody, people can be passing through here now without anything happening to them. You pass through there. The same place that I just passed through, you pass through, something happens to you. Yeah, so what I am trying to tell you is this. Politicians in Nigeria, do something good. Let your name be heard like a pito will be. Let your name be heard. Use the money that you have to help poor people. Help poor people because when you help poor people, the blessing that comes with it, eh, is 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 unbelievable. The Bible told us too. So when you do something and the people say God bless you, that the Papa in heaven is hearing that word, God bless you, and He will bless you. And when people curse you too and say God punish you, they have a reason. He say He's hearing both. Oh, He's hearing both. I guess he makes the decision which one to take. Whether God will bless you or be whether God will punish you. People are not saying anything good about this guy. One man came out in a video. Have, I tried to get that video to upload it here, but I, I don't know. You know I'm not a social media person, so whatever I get for you guys, I manage and upload it. But I beg, you take me like that. This guy, this guy was speaking so bitterly. So bitterly, the, the money that uh, this man is owing him, the, how the man is uh, uh, oppressing him not to give him his money. He said he's been doing business. It's a very, very sad video. That's why I tried to get it, but I couldn't uh, upload it to, to show it to you guys. You got to comment section. People are not saying good about you. Uh, you want the day that, because everybody, eh? Everybody will not be here forever. They will come when I will not be here anymore or whoever will not be here anymore. All of us. But it depends on what you did in this world. And that's why you, you have to make a good name here so that when you leave, let people cry their head out because you're not here. People cannot be rejoicing because I'm not here. No, cannot rejoice. 
People, a lot of people will cry. Cry, cry from their hearts. It's not a rice cry or beans cry or chicken cry. No. They will cry because of, if for nothing else, people will cry because of what you have done for them. People will not cry that I rip them off. God forbid I will not rip anybody off. People will not cry that I oppress them. Hey, God. People will not. But the people are crying because this man oppressed them. And with all the money that he made, with all the billions and all the unquabi and all the ishiyu and all the you know who I am, Imakuifana Abam, this man, I know anybody can go anywhere. It depends. You can be here and next minute you're not here anymore. That's how God made it. It's not my fault. So, but why, what I'm trying to get out of it is with all his money, eh, this man was in the hotel. He was found inside the hotel. I'm trying to mind my words because there's some things that YouTube don't like. Because if I say it as raw as I want to say it, YouTube will not like it. They found him in a hotel. With all the money that he has, his money could not save him. Your money will not save you. All these politicians, your money will not save you. Your car will not save you. Your wherever you go, with everything, Nigeria don't have hospital enough to save his life. Because they took all Nigeria money, all their state's money, and they dump it in another in another country to help that country. So whatever it is that he has now over there, <coughs> some of them will be forfeited to the whatever government. They found him in a hotel. May they not find you in a hotel for all the money that you collected from Nigerians that you could have helped. You could have helped poor people, build hospital, build road, so that when you are sick, you go to that hospital. Even the poor people that cannot afford to go to hospital, they live in better life than these people that call themselves rich. They live in better life because when they have God, they have everything. When you have God, these people that call themselves big people, eh? They will be suffering. Sometimes you wonder the type of sickness they have. You wonder, you ask yourself, ah, without the money you get, you know, you know, what happened? There's this thing that they used to make a, 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 a some kind of talk at home. They said, one of our friends always used this, this thing to make talk. He said in Abia State, he, he specifically said in Abia State, in Omoahe. He said a madman was just passing by in Omoahe. And uh, he saw where they have uh, all this uh, thing with uh, uh, preparing to bury somebody. You would think that, eh, gosh. Eh? He said he's preparing in a big way. So they, he went to where they're digging the... Um, the grave and they are digging the grave and he, they, this is the way they say it he looked into the grave and he told them gusha na le gusha, make it wider he said make the grave wider he said because where would what would this thing fit would this one fit his house would this one fit his money i'll be with this one what in this one will fit i bet make gonna make the the grave wide so because of it, they use this thing to talk all, all the time. I beg, may it not be you that they will come and say, gusha, e gusha, so that they say, where would this one fit? May it not be you. So please, when you have something, when you have money, uh, especially all these government people, when you, when you are in the office, do something for the people. The kind of prayer they will pray for you, eh? The kind of anointing they will anoint you. Pastor, no fit anoint you like that. Wait till it happen. They will pray for you so hard. You went to hospital. You pay, you pay for somebody's uh, hospital bill. You go, ah, oh God. You don't even understand that the prayer they are praying you. You will never get sick, oh. You will not get sick. A lot of people are praying for me. That's why I am strong like this. I look young every day. They see me. They say, auntie, you in a cow can't see and say how I go, Kalanka, when I know that you are praying for me. You know, 
I beg, make you do something good to for people. Make people they pray for you. Because this prayer say works. That is a prayer that your pastor cannot pray for you. This is a prayer that people that you help are praying for you. And the jealousness is not going to help you. So if not, all of you are go buy inside hotel. All of you are go go commit all manner of crime. Go in, in the church. And the pastors go give you uh, Oche in front of the church, which I know a lot of them at home. That's why when I go home, I don't go to church anyhow. Because as soon as they see me coming, they, say, they look. I don't know how they notice me. And I dress like a mbeke when I go. Oh, God. <laughs> I dress like a mbeke when I go home. You know, go even know, say I come from America. You will not know. I just dress like in back original one, eh? And as soon as I step inside church with my hair tied high all over up to my eyes, they will still know me. They, they will still point at me. They will walk out from where they are to come and collect me. Say, come and come and sit in front. Come away. I say, I beg, I'm okay where I am. Please. I say, no, auntie, we no agree. We want you to come here. I say, listen, it's a trouble. Not before inside church, I did. All these criminals, you know why I don't want to go there? Because all these criminals, they are all in front, in front of the church. So they can give money. So people will know how much they are giving. I go to church, I put my money. I know they even write my name on the envelope. Because I know that God that sees in secret will reward me in the open. I don't have to announce what I'm giving. I do not have to announce what I'm giving in the church. Because I know the God that I worship is, is the God that answers poor people. The poor people, they didn't just start uh, in this world. Though. The Bible told us, I said, when you do for these people that cannot afford to do for themselves, you are doing it for me. So why will somebody have all this money and buy inside hotel in London? What are you doing in London? You make yourself you make your place so useless that you can't you don't even have the space like you are sick okay you are sick at least you worry about your sickness it's not worrying about the hospital where you will go at least you have the chance and said i'll do my best i go to this hospital i build for my people here we will stay here and let god help me so that you will just worry and pray but this one you have to worry about going out you will have to worry about where you will stay. You have to worry about the kind of food you will eat. You have to sometimes, you know, even have somebody there to help you do. So with all the money that you collected, where is the money now? What did the money do for you? All the people that they are, all, the, all they are saying is just call you bad names. They are calling him horrible, horrible names. They are using him as an example of this and that and that. So, but the names that they are calling him, hopefully, it will open the eyes of uh, Nigerian politicians to let them know that if care is not taken, all of you go buy inside hotel in abroad. Yeah, he, he, he tells us that thing that uh, Mr. Putin, president of Russia, said. Say Nigeria is a, is a place where they carry a uh, dead body go. That's what Putin said. He said they build all their houses, their mansion. They don't get to run to get there. They don't have water. They don't have hospital. They live abroad and they build mansions at home. When something happened to them, they carry their body and go to their mansion and bury them. So he called Putin, call, put, Putin called Nigeria burial ground. He called Nigeria and said that place is a burial ground. You know, is it not true? Didn't he say the truth? He said the truth. After all the money that this man made with all the mansion that he built in Nigeria, he went to London and find a hotel so that they could carry the body and collect go back to Nigeria. So what did that mean? So Putin, Putin is a, a, a Putin got it there 100%. So all of you that are building all over the place, I am seeing one uh, uh, from where? Is it Koto, Koto, something like that. 
uh, um, Ivory Coast that they are showing i don't know if that one is true or not though they are showing a building that was burning and they said it's an excellent president building we don't know it's possible because they have homes all over the place they refuse to build road in nigeria they refuse to 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 do hospital so that when anything is happening to them they fly out so they can go to uh, uh cote to to every coast to go to hospital or they can go to london to go to hospital or they can come to us to go to hospital but the regular nigerians are in nigeria suffering that learn from what happened to this guy with all the money he has he, uh, people will think that they will be here forever we will not be here forever tomorrow is not promised that's why it's good to do good things so that even if you are not here tomorrow people will not be talking bad about you they will not be talking bad ab about you they will be saying they will be crying from their heart and say ah who go do for me oh who go do for me if not for this man or for this woman this wouldn't uh, I, 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 I go buy oh. but let it not be that you buy and the people are crying say eh, eh, nothing nah, better for you that is good for you because of you didn't do this you didn't do that you didn't do that all the money you have i remember when i went to, i came to you and uh, even if if they have their mansion right here eh, and the person next to them live on that place where rain is rainy you know what they will do they will kick the person out of that place eh, and demolish the place eh, instead of building that house to to look good to look better so that when somebody is coming to their home, it will not uh, call out their house. Or no. no, they don't do that. They will chase you out of your home because they call themselves rich people. Rich people. You know, when you, 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 you are not here anymore, eh? When you get over there, that's when you will answer everything that you did here. How many people were you able to put? Did you build the hospital? Did you do road? Did you help people in need? All this money now that you have in account, then what did happen? Now somebody go carry you from London and put you inside Igwe and carry you back home. So figure it out yourself because all this vanity upon vanity is absolutely vanity. It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense to collect all the money when people are dying around you, no food around you, and you could not build the industries and all that. People are talking bad about this guy. So pray for his soul. Pray for his soul so that God will receive this soul. Because at the 10, 9 out of 10 said bad about this guy. And when this much people are saying bad about you, mm, it's not me. It's not me that is saying it because I didn't know him that much. It is because of him not being here that I knew a little bit that I know now about this guy. He did so much. During election time, nothing that he didn't do. Uh, made Bolatinubi is a mm, 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 for them, for two of them. All of them, all the criminals are mm, 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 they never do mm, 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 to poor people. Oh. Now the criminal like them that they, they do. Mm, mm, mm. So the family members, sorry, oh, as accept our condolences oh, for Nigerians. Yeah, me, I know follow Nigerians talk talk bad about you. I'm just telling you what Nigerians said. And what his business partners are saying about him. And they are not pretty. It's not good to hear. That's why I'm making this video. To warn those that will hear. To warn those that want to listen. But those that don't want to listen. Now inside toilet, they go collect you too. So from me to you, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share the video and subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.